Have you ever wondered how do I set up my shipping on my Shopify website? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up the shipping. I'm going to show you how to do the manual shipping sets, free shipping over X amount of dollars, calculated shipping, and a few little ninja hacks I've learned over the years for shipping. So with that being said, let's get into the video and learn how to set up your shipping on your Shopify website. So when you're in the back end of Shopify, what you want to do in the bottom left hand corner is click settings down here and then you want to click this button where it says shipping and delivery basically this is going to open up all the shipping sets for the website it has a few different features and stuff in here but the main one that we want to look at is general shipping rates so if we actually click into here it's going to have all our products here we can actually split the products to have different shipping profiles, which I'll show you in a minute. So now that we're in the general profile, we can actually split the products to have different shipping sets or all together. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you how to split them. But for now, what we wanna do is scroll down to here where it says shipping origins. So it will basically your default country where you're from. So I'm actually from Australia. If you're in the United States, it will say United States here. If you're in Canada, it will say Canada for example, and then down here will say international where it has all the other countries and stuff like that. So it default has these settings here where it's like express might be $15, standard might be free, and then standard might be $10 sort of thing. So this one is standard free over $100. Normally I go in and delete all these or I just edit them. But for this purposes, I might just delete them and start again. Whenever you make a change, you can press save in the top right as well. So I've just gone through and delete them all so i'm going to add a manual shipping rate here so add rate under australia or whatever country you're from and then there's two different ones we can add use flat rate that's a manual shipping set or use carrier or app calculations which i'm going to show you in a minute then we can actually select this for the menu one so shipping rate we can do express standard custom I personally don't like how it says it like this. I like to write my own, so custom. So for example, you might write standard shipping. And the cool new feature that Shopify has added, it actually shows you what it looks like in the checkout as well. You can actually put stuff here as well, like made to order. So let's just say it's made to order, for example. It would actually say made to order in the checkout, which I think is really, really cool what they added there. Tracking number provided, all different things like that. I really, really like this sort of stuff ships next day um, but you don't have to have any of these either so you can delete these if you want another thing that i normally do as well is i might put standard shipping and then in brackets be like two to eight business days bracket like that so see how you actually see that in the shipping so that's what someone will see in the checkout so we want to do free shipping on orders over $100. So what we want to do here is have the price as zero. And then we add a condition. So see how it says free here as well. We add a condition based on item weight or based on order price. So if we click order price and then the minimum price has to be $100. So if someone goes to the checkout with anything over $100, they will get free shipping and they'll actually see this message. Standard shipping, two to eight business days. And then if you want, like, like I was saying before, we can write tracking number provided or ships next day, something like that. So that's exactly what they see in the checkout. And then you press done. So now we have a shipping set for free shipping over $100. What if you want to do a, a shipping set where they have to pay for it? You could actually do add rate, custom, standard shipping, two to eight business days, bracket. Next day delivery, price. Let's say $10. Now add condition based on order price. So because we have the free shipping over $100, we're going to put zero for minimum. And then we're going to put $99.99 here. So anything under $100 will be $10 shipping. So now we have two manual shipping sets, one for under $100 and one for over $100. So let's just say you wanted to do shipping based on rate. What we could actually do here is add rate custom i'm going to paste in the standard shipping two to eight business days let's just say it ships next day let's say we want to charge twenty dollars for this because maybe it's heavy so let's just say heavy standard shipping so that's what it's going to say in the checkout add condition based on weight so let's just say anything over 20 kilos so this will be like heavy standard shipping two to eight business days ships next day twenty dollars 
So now we've actually just added a weight-based shipping rate. Sometimes you have to play around with these manual shipping sets. And that's why I actually like to use calculated shipping uh, on the website as well. Sometimes I'll add the international here. A good rule of thumb for when you're starting out is there's basically two to three types of ways you can go for international shipping. So normally what a lot of people in Australia, for example, will do is they'll get their shipping right in Australia. And then once they want to start doing international, they'll add shipping sets for New Zealand because New Zealand's very close to Australia. Same with the US. A lot of people in the US, once they nail that, they'll do shipping to Canada, for example, because it's very close. Once they get those shipping sets right, then they'll move into other countries like the UK, Europe, stuff like that. The most popular country is normally the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and Europe are very popular uh, countries and areas to ship. You can go that route or what you can do is go all guns blazing and do everything straight away. So for example, to add a manual shipping set in for international, it'd be exactly the same. So use flat rate. You can use their thing there as well if you want, standard international shipping, six to 27 business days. Let's just say you wanna charge $20. And then let's just say you want any order to be that. So anything, $20 for international. So now we've just added shipping rate in for our countries, at the country we're from and then international as well here. Now, let's just say you wanna do calculated shipping. Now, how calculated shipping works is that Shopify has partnered with different carriers around the world and integrated calculated shipping into Shopify. Now, a lot of carriers aren't integrated with Shopify directly and they don't have a special deal with Shopify. So sometimes you have to use third-party apps, which I'm gonna go into in a minute. But if we go here where it says add rate and then we go user carrier or app to calculate rates, it's gonna show the default ones that are in the back end of Shopify. So for example, here in Australia, Shopify has a deal with Sendal where they Sendal does calculated shipping for Australians for free. Now, personally, a lot of people I work with, they normally end up using Australia Post in Australia and Australia Post doesn't have a deal with Shopify, for example. So you actually need to use a paid plugin for Australia Post in Australia. Uh, so that normally costs $10 USD a month to do calculated shipping. Some people, mainly bigger stores, will use apps like ShipIt, where they can have multiple different carriers. So they can have like TNT, Cruise Please, uh, DHL, UPS, all different ones, all in the one app, all calculating at the checkout. Uh, so that's something to think about as well. It really depends on what country you come from and if you need to pay for it, if it's free in Shopify, stuff like that. So here you'll know. If your carrier isn't here, if you go to Shopify app store and just type in the carrier name, it should come up there as well. If anyone wants me to make a specialized video for Australia Post or ship it or other ones, let me know in the comments and I'll most likely make those videos. And then you can select the different services. So domestic, unlimited satchel, for example, you can put a handling fee. Uh, so automatically show new shipping services. Yep, so you can do that as well. And then you can put a handling fee in the checkout. So let's just say it calculates it as $10 shipping. You can actually add $3 or 10% or whatever onto the shipping. So let's just say we want to add 10%, for example, and press OK. So now this website has calculated shipping through Sendal, which is in Australia, and then it has these manual shipping sets. So what sometimes people do, and on my old website, the shipping was super complicated. So this is just a scenario that I did. So I used Australia Post Shipping Calculated app to calculate all the parcels and stuff. And then I had manual shipping sets in here for little padded envelopes. So a lot of my customers, they would spend like five, 10, 20, $30, but wouldn't want to pay like $10 shipping, right? So I used to have this $3 manual shipping set for a little padded envelope, which they could pay for. And then on larger orders, uh, it would calculate the shipping. So that's maybe why you'd want to have a manual shipping set, then calculated shipping. The other thing as well is a lot of people do free shipping over X amount of dollars and the app won't do that. So you have to add this manual shipping set for free shipping over X amount of dollars. One of the best deals that works the best on a website is when you do free shipping on orders over X amount of dollars. In the announcement bar on your website, stuff like that, that is a super powerful discount 
you can give someone free shipping over X amount. Let's just say your product price is $30. So free shipping on orders over $80 would work really well, even a hundred would, because it really encourage people to buy three or four of your products. So it really encourages higher average order value, which is really good too. Now down here, you can also do the calculated shipping for international. Sendal has an international one as well. So most likely whatever country you're in, it will actually tell you if you can do the overseas calculated shipping, let's do 10%. So now we have calculated shipping, manual shipping sets, stuff like that, all set up in the back end of our Shopify store. So this should all work now in your checkout. A really good rule of thumb is actually to go through your checkout and check that these are calculating in the checkout. It's super important. A lot of people don't do that. So I highly, highly recommend you do that. And of course, press save in the top right when you're done. The other thing that is really good is you can actually go to orders and then abandon checkouts. And it'll actually tell you the people that have went through your checkout. This is really good because you will actually see the shipping prices that people are seeing. And that will give you a really good indication of if is something going wrong in your checkout. So let's just say it's calculating the shipping at like $200. You'll see that and know that there's an issue there. So if your store doesn't have calculated shipping that you need, you can actually come here to the Shopify app store and find a compatible app that will do calculated shipping for you, or even like print labels or different stuff like that. Now, if you would go to this search bar here, and for example, type in shipping, it's gonna bring up a lot of different shipping apps here. Now, I normally don't recommend to type in shipping. The main ones that are gonna come up here are like US shipping apps and stuff. So if you're in the US, it will probably work really well, but whatever country, whatever shipping carrier you wanna use, normally it's actually best to just type it in up here. So for example, uh, I'm in Australia we, and I use Australia Post. Most of our clients use Australia Post. So it will bring up all the different Australia Post apps. Uh, if you're in like uh, Canada, you'd use like Canada Post or UK's Royal Post. Uh, I think New Zealand is NZ post uh, from memory. But yeah, you just type it in there and it would have solutions for you down here. Now, a lot of my clients in Australia use Australia Post shipping by AMP. Uh, I highly recommend it, never had any issues or anything, um, but there's other different apps here. You can have an app for like printing labels and different things like that. If you need an app that has like multiple different carriers, there's ones like Starship It, ship it, uh, all different stuff like that, that can do multiple carriers. Sometimes at a very high, high level of a Shopify website, they need multiple carriers for printing labels, calculating shipping and stuff like that at the checkout. Um, but yeah, definitely if you just type in the carrier you need, it will come up here. So for example, uh, let's just type in DHL. Lots of different DHL apps are gonna come here as well. UPS, UPS, for example. So UPS shipping official, there's all different stuff like that here. So yeah, to basically see what happens for New Zealand, New Zealand post, NZ post address search. Uh, there's a few different stuff in here. So basically that's how you find the right app. Uh, if you're not sure, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll actually uh, do some research or just tell you from based on experience, what would be really good for you. If you want me to make a specialized video on what apps and stuff like that and how to use them, uh, tutorial on like Australia Post app, things like that, let me know in the comments also, and I can do that. So hopefully by now, you know how to set up your shipping on your Shopify website. Let me know if there's any other areas that I can help with, with your shipping or Shopify in general in the comments. I wanna make this one of the best Shopify YouTube channels, so your comments, subscribing, liking and stuff shows me that I'm on the right track. So I would really appreciate it if you could do that. And if you want to watch a video on the best Shopify themes, check out that video that I made going through all the best Shopify themes. Until next time, talk soon.